Hello and welcome to this video where we will explore in detail the three signs that you're on the right path according to the Bible. As believers, we are called to walk in the path that God has set before us, but how do we know we're on the right path? Well, let's dive in and find out. Sign 1. Peace. The first sign that you're on the right path according to the Bible is peace. Philippians 4 7 says, And the peace of God which transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This peace is not dependent on our circumstances, but comes from our trust in God and His plan for our lives. When we are on the right path, we will have a sense of peace that comes from God. This peace can be experienced in many different ways. It can be a sense of calm in the midst of chaos, a feeling of assurance during uncertain times, or a deep-seated sense of contentment in our lives. This peace is a gift from God and can only be received through our faith in Him. However, when we are on the wrong path, we may feel anxious, worried, or stressed. Psalm 34:14 reminds us to turn from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. When we turn away from sin and seek after God's will for our lives, we will experience His peace. Sign 2. Fruit. The second sign that you're on the right path according to the Bible is fruit. Galatians 5, 22, 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. When we are on the right path, we will produce good fruit in our lives. This fruit is evidence of the Holy Spirit working in us and through us. When we are on the wrong path, we may see negative fruit in our lives such as anger, jealousy, or selfishness. But when we are on the right path, we will see positive fruit in our lives such as love, joy, and peace. John 15, 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. It's important to note that producing good fruit is not something we can do on our own. We must remain connected to Jesus and allow Him to work in us and through us. As we abide in Him, we will see His fruit manifest in our lives. Sign 3. Confirmation. The third sign that you're on the right path according to the Bible is confirmation. Proverbs 3, 5. 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. When we are on the right path, God will confirm it to us through His Word, prayer, and the counsel of others. When we are on the wrong path, we may receive warnings or red flags that we are headed in the wrong direction. But when we are on the right path, we will receive confirmation from God that we are headed in the right direction. Psalm 32, 8 says, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. God's confirmation may come in many different forms. It may be a sense of peace or a confirmation from others. It may be an open door or a closed one. It may be a scripture or a prophetic word. Whatever form it takes, we can trust that God will confirm His will for our lives. It's important to note that confirmation from God does not mean that everything will be easy or without challenges. In fact, sometimes the right path may be difficult and require sacrifice. But when we are on the right path, we can trust that God will be with us every step of the way and give us the strength we need to persevere. In conclusion, these three signs, peace, fruit, and confirmation, are important indicators that we are on the right path according to the Bible. As we seek to follow God's will for our lives, we can trust that He will guide us and give us the wisdom we need to discern His path for us. So let's continue to seek after Him, trust in Him, and follow Him wherever He leads us. As Proverbs 16, 9 says, In their hearts, humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps.